Hey guys, it's Khaleesi Grimes 82 Before I start the video, make sure to punch that subscribe button. Just hit it as hard as you fucking can. Make sure you get all the updated videos from this channel. Just hit the living shit out of that subscribe button. Jump kick it if you have to. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video before you even watch it. Who cares? You know you like it. You're gonna love it. Comment. Leave an upvote, uptick, subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. Knee that subscribe button. Take the subscribe button. Make sweet love to it all night long. Just make sure you stick around on this channel because I provide a lot of deep insight. So much insight you can't even fucking believe it. I'm KG82. We have an explainer video for you. Have you ever left a movie and you were just kind of like, mm, huh? I was like, what? What's going on in this film? Help me! Somebody help me out! Hans, Booby, I'm your white knight. So if you haven't seen Ant-Man and the Wasp, um... Oh, I just, kill, I just killed a wasp. Why? Run out and watch and come back here after you've seen it like two or three times so Disney can pay me money for giving them the sale and I will tell you all about what happened at the end. For those of you that are cool and already saw it, here we go. So after the film ends and the credits start to scroll up, we take a pause and we go back to our heroes. We have the family outside testing out their quantum berserker machine. I don't, I don't know what it's called. I don't know the technicalities of it. I'm a nerd, but I'm not that deep into the lore. Sorry. I am an explainer, but I don't know everything. What they want to do is have Ant-Man go inside the quantum realm again. They want their little worker bee to buzz into the realm grab that canister and scoop up a little bit of that quantum sap, bring it back home to mother. So he gets in there and what happens next? I think, I, I think blew everybody in the theater away. I heard audible <gasps> and oh my gosh, no, oh no, oh. Because what happened is Ant-Man was in the realm. They were gonna bring him back out and then he just loses contact altogether. And this is where some people were scratching their heads. They're like, um, the countdown stopped. What happened to the, 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 the 3, 2, 1? They didn't bring him back. What happened was they died. This is hard to explain because he, 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 the camera goes back and there's just ash falling to the ground. Um, implying that they kind of decomposed or kind of burst into flame and all that was left was the, the ash, ashy leftovers. To understand this, you had to have seen Infinity War or had read the script or had someone ruin it for you. Because otherwise you're just gonna be like, huh? How did this happen? At the end of Infinity War, when Thanos is about to be absolutely wrecked by Christopher Hemsworth as Thor, who puts an ax into his chest, but he doesn't dig deep enough, Thanos, in a last second ditch, snaps the fingers. He does the snap, which instantly kills half of the population of not just Earth, of the universe. And that affected everybody that was up on that building, up on that rooftop. I believe they were on a rooftop and not just in a parking lot. I think they were up on a building rooftop. I think so. But Ant-Man wasn't affected because he was in the quantum realm. Now, to understand the quantum realm, you need to understand quantum theory. And they kind of tell you in the movie, but they don't really tell you in the movie. You need to understand more. And I'm not gonna break that down because I'm not a professor. <laughs> Could you imagine? I have like a I have like a, a PhD in quantum physics. I have my little clipboard and glasses. It's like, Professor Grimes reporting for duty. <laughs> Do they report for duty? What is he? A, what is he, a soldier? <laughs> God. Soldier Grimes. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm a geek. And I know I'm being a little bit vague still, not explaining it the best. This is super complex stuff, and it definitely needs a lengthy YouTube video to explain it all to you. And I'm sure there's a bunch of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom explainer videos, too. Even though that movie seemed like it was written by a four-year-old with crayon on the back of a fucking napkin. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my hardest to, to really, to really dig in there, really dig in and there's like a tiny shovel because it's Ant-Man Ant technology sh shrug it down. <laughs> so once more, Thanos did the snap. Now he has an infinity gauntlet. 
I should have been clear about that before. I'm sorry. I really should have been clear about that. He has an Infinity Gauntlet, which contains all the Infinity Gems or stones, depending on who you ask. There's kind of uptight people out there. He does this and it instantly kills a bunch of people because these stones, whoever can control them, whoever can harness their power, can do whatever they please. We're just lucky Thanos only wiped out half the population. This guy's not a complete lunatic after all. He's only a complete lunatic after all. Ant-Man is stuck in the quantum zone as far as we know. How he's gonna get out is anybody's guess, is anybody's game really. But we know that Ant-Man has done this before. He's gone into the quantum zone and found his way out in the first Ant-Man film. If you don't remember that, it happened in the first one. And he brings it up countless times in this movie, just as a reminder to the audience that he does in fact know how to get out. What I think is probably gonna happen is his daughter is going to somehow uh, bring him out of this. Maybe she becomes like Ant Girl and she gets a suit. Now this is all speculation. I love to speculate on this channel, but present it almost as fact. And I think that that really is what's gonna happen because there's a lot of talk about her becoming the partner and the MCU really doesn't have a lot of kid strong leads so far. And if there's anything I need more of, it's strong female kid leads. It's about time. It's also possible Michael Pena's character could get him out. Now, 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 now. We do have Ghost still out lurking in the shadows. She's kind of a fugitive, I guess. Although I'm not really sure anybody knows who she is or gives a shit anymore. She's with Lawrence Fish, short for Fishburn. They could very well, with their combined knowledge, bring him out as well. So let's not, let's not uh, count them out of the game yet. There's still plenty of people to bring back into the fold in Infinity War Part 2, which is probably the next time we're gonna see Ant-Man. I, I really think it is. I think it's the next time we're going to see Ant-Man again. I do believe we are going to return to him. He's not out. I hope that cleared things up for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to flick that subscribe button real hard. Use your fidget spinner and smack into that subscribe button. See what you can do about it. Maybe pop the elbow. Pop the elbow on the subscribe button or do a little karate chop. Maybe Khaleesi Grimes needs to explain how to hit the subscribe button to you. Maybe that's what I need to do. Because I see some other YouTube channels that have far more subscribers. They're putting in hardly any fucking effort. Yeah, and I'm just kind of meandering around the, the 50,000 mark still. 50,000 subscriber mark. I've been doing this for a long fucking time. Where are my subscribers? Why aren't you sharing this shit around the internet? <laughs> I'm a nerd.